Hi, my name is Kaylee Looney and I'm the founder and CEO of Reinvented Magazine. Right now, we are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month and as a Latina, this celebration is pretty near and dear to my heart. My family is actually from Ecuador. My mom was born there and moved over to the United States when she was really little, making me and my brother first gen on her side. As a Latina in STEM, I like to use this month as a time to spotlight and raise awareness for the stories of other Latinas in STEM like myself. Did you know that only 2% of all science and tech jobs are held by Latinas? We need to change that. As someone who's part of that 2%, I figured I'd quickly share a little bit about my STEM story and where I'm at today. I have my bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering, and I'm currently working full-time as a mission analyst or aerospace engineer at L3 Harris Technologies down here near Reinvented's HQ in Florida. As a mission analyst, I primarily support the orbital analysis and modeling and simulation of our small satellite programs. Outside of work, I am pursuing my master's degree in space systems engineering from Johns Hopkins University. And as you already know, I run Reinvented Magazine because I believe that the only way that those statistics are going to change is if we amplify the stories of diverse women in STEM and provide role models for the next generation of young girls to look up to in these fields. I didn't always want to be an engineer. I originally wanted to be a fashion designer, but if you saw me when I was little, you'd know that fashion design was not my forte. My mom encouraged me to try out first robotics and seeing those robots in action was what first sparked my interest in tech. I guess you could say the rest is kind of history because as you can tell, I'm an engineer now working full time, running a nonprofit and helping make other young girls dreams in STEM come true. Hi everyone. This is Reina from Invented Magazine. I am half Guatemalan, half Filipino, and I am very proud to be part of both cultures. I grew up in Guatemala, surrounded by kind, optimistic, brave, and hardworking people. I also grew up with a huge family, surrounded by amazing uncles and aunts, very caring grandparents, the best and most supportive parents I could ever have and cool cousins that filled me with joy every time we hang around. Even though I grew up in this rich environment, I always struggled with my identity. I was never Hispanic enough as my friends and I was not Hispanic enough as my cousins. I always felt that I would never be Latina enough. But this Latino Pride Month has been one of the best experiences I've had. This has been a very nice time for self-reflection, for appreciation of the vast variety of people in the Latino community. And it has also been a very good time for thoughts and prayers for our fellow dreamers who fight and work hard every day to provide for their families and to give them a better future in this country. As a woman in the STEM community, it has been a very interesting path. As I was growing up, I never wanted to be a scientist, even though I was very good in mathematics and biology. I never wanted that for me, until recently. Since I joined the Inventive magazine, I have been surrounded by amazing women who inspire me every day to do better and to fight for what I want. I am very glad to be part of this team and I am excited to see what comes in the future for Reinvented Magazine. Hispanic Heritage Month is an annual celebration of the history and culture of US Latino and Hispanic communities. The term Hispanic or Latino refers to a person's culture or origin, regardless of race. The event, which spans from September 15th to October 15th, commemorates how those communities have influenced and contributed to American society at large. Hispanic Heritage Month celebrates Hispanic heritage through festivities that highlight the music and food that represents the country's history and rich culture. September 15th is the anniversary of independence for Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua, which is why the celebration of Latin figures and culture starts on that date. Right now, the Hispanic population in the United States is around 55 million people who contribute greatly to our society and culture. Here is a glimpse of some amazing Latinas who have conquered the world of STEM. Elena Ochoa joined NASA in 1988 as a research engineer at Ames Research Center and moved to Johnson Space Center in 1990 when she was selected as an astronaut. 
She became the first Hispanic woman to go to space when she served on the 9-day STS-56 mission aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery in 1993. She stated, What everyone in the astronaut corps shares in common is not gender or ethnic background, but motivation, perseverance, and desire. The desire to participate in a voyage of discovery. Helen Rodriguez Trias was a Puerto Rican pediatrician, educator, and activist. Dr. Rodriguez Trias was a founding member of the Women's Caucus of the American Public Health Association, a co-founder of the Committee to End Sterilization Abuse, and in 1993, the first Latina to be elected a president of the American Health Association. I hope I'll see in my lifetime a growing realization that we are one world, she said. No one is going to have quality of life unless we support everyone's quality of life. Not on a basis of do-goodism, but because of her real commitment. It's her collective and personal health that's at stake. Sarah Stewart was a Mexican-American researcher who discovered a link between viruses and cancer, paving the way for the development of vaccines that guard against certain types of disease. At the time of her discovery, the medical community dismissed the theory that cancer-causing viruses can spread from animal to animal. In 1949, Stewart was the first woman to earn a medical degree from Georgetown University of School of Medicine.